Francesco, can you go to the presentation? Much yes, I'm, now I will share again my screen. Yes, yes. Sorry if I'm slow. <laughs> That's okay. Well, um, what does Politistico Ergastiri offers? He offers to volunteers the opportunities, volunteering opportunities in Cyprus and abroad. And the European Solidarity Crops Program. And until now, it had hosted more than 2050 volunteers and can send around 35 Cyprus volunteers abroad. Actually, what is Education Volunteers Project? It's an opportunity for young people to have volunteer experience in formal and organized education environment with the main aim to support educational activities, formal and not formal. And the children, the children and teacher in the general school environment. And this is taking place in primary education in the city of Nicosia, the capital of Cyprus, and the town of Dali and the village of Palehori in the district of Nicosia, or Nicosia. Well. What is local impact? When we started this program, we have some questions, some dilemmas. The school program is adjust to the volunteers or the volunteers are just the program. This was one of the main things that we are thought because volunteering has to be uh, transmission to solidarity. So it was a big issue for that for us. And what is the role of schools and teachers? Are they are volunteers? Are they are mentors or coordinators? And how we can increase the impact, the impact of the, the project? How can we prove the relation between teachers, volunteers, and children? So we decided to focus on local impact because schools are different from NGOs and private, private companies. Many different actors are involved in this procedure. The program coordinator, the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sport and Youth, teachers, children, local community and volunteers. And this makes the program different from, others, from other programs. And now I'm passing the flow to Stella. Are you ready? Your microphone is closed. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, I'm Stella. Thank you, Scary. <laughs> uh, so um, I'm continuing the, the, the first part of the training course when we met the three of us. And the two other persons came along uh, in this um, seminar, took place in Weimar. The aim of the training uh, was to improve the confidences in management of European volunteers, develop tools of documentation that will implement the ongoing volunteering projects in their organization, and thus will enhance their quality and their learning process quality and the learning process quality. Become more competent in mentoring and learning development of volunteers. Have a wider and deeper overlook of the volunteering projects and what they can create on communities or society level. Our project now uh, it was, uh, um, we have one dilemma about our project, uh, how to increase the impact of the project, how to improve a uh, relation between teachers, volunteers, and children. Through this procedure, 
we have proceeded three output. The first output is the entry form, the school rules, and the, value, the monthly evaluation cards is the third output. Um, upon arrival of the volunteers, we provide them uh, with the entry form and the school rules. The entry form allow us to get, to get more in touch with the volunteers and lets us get a quick glimpse of their personality. Another output is the school rules. Rules are enforced to make sure the volunteers stick to the proper school guidelines and to guide them to behave responsibly. Do you want to learn which are these rules? Sarah so, invites you to a Kahoot game. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, we have organized, thank you, Stella. We have organized a, a small game to play all together in order to uh, go through uh, the basic rules uh, that um, that are that will ensure uh, all volunteers to have a successful experience with children. So um, let's see how to play. In the chat, you can find the link, uh, uh, the link Kahoot. We will uh, redirect you to the uh, Kahoot. Uh, main page, and then I write you in the um, I write in the chat the pin here eight one eight three four five one eight that uh, you should um, add in order to play. But if you since we saw that we have a little bit of problem with Kahoot, I will also uh, share my screen. So you can uh, a minute. So you can also uh, play with along with me. Did you manage to enter to the Kahoot page? No. So like from here, I just join uh, with my name, Sara. You need the pin again because you didn't hear it. Pardon? The pin, the pin. Sorry, you okay, wait. You have to tell the code again. The call, I, I wrote it down in the chat. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. It's one eight three five one eight. Works. Thumb up. <laughs> so yeah, I have three players. Let's do it. So first question: How do you think you should? How do you think you should get dressed? Elegant and fancy, pajamas, casual, comfortable, and decent, or ready for clubbing? I am so. I will wait the last second. So <laughs> you won't cheat. Yeah, no, I miss it. Casual? Okay, so Filio and Stavrula are the best two players right now. So moving on, when will you use your mobile phone? Every moment I can, only during breaks, only when talking to children or only during class.
I always miss it. <laughs> and Anastasia is getting the second place. That video is still up. So now a true and false. You can arrive at school at any time you wish. Is it true or is it false? Yep. Wow. Hello. Winning. <laughs> it is forbidden to smoke in the school. Is it true or false? Yep. So, Francesco is climbing the cluster. How to talk to children using a polite and appropriate vocabulary, or we don't talk to them at all by swearing and shouting, or in a, using uh, by using a rude and funny vocabulary. Yep. Oh, God. So, still feel you at the top. So, you can always do whatever you want without checking first. Is it true or false? Yay, all right. So last but not least, you're an adult and children have to respect you. Is it true or false? Right. So these are the basic rules that uh, are thought to be successful at primary school. And now um, we saw that Filio, you won. Good job. <laughs> and uh, uh, now uh, Stella will explain to you the last uh, uh, tool uh, uh, produced. So. Stella, your microphone. <laughs> uh, again, thank you, Sara. <laughs> Was <Once> again. <laughs> uh, thank you, Sara. It was a very interesting game. So you learn about the rules. Uh, we have to to inform the young people they coming in our school about our rules so that they behave well uh, now uh, about the last output we produce is the last output is the valuation cards and how you we use the valuation cards in our school we take the volunteers and we monitor supervise, motivate, mentor, and evaluate them. We continue to support them so they remain in the school and work for the school. During the first month, in the beginning, when the volunteers arrive at our school, we get to know them, ask about their interests, and discover their strengths. We do this to get to know them better and to see how they, how they can help our school. At the end of the first month, we ask the volunteers what subjects and, and classes they would like to help with in order to develop the final timetable. In the second month, we ask the volunteers if the goals they said we are met. We also asked them about any difficulties they had while helping 
and what they do to change it. During the fourth month, the school coordinator will ask the volunteers about their involvement in the day-to-day -day running of the school. They will discuss their likes and their dislikes about their involvement. During the third month, uh, sorry, I forgot to say, the, the coordinator would help the volunteers to prepare a project based on the school needs. And the, during the end of the program, the last month, where the program ends, we ask the volunteers to evaluate their involvement in the program and share their thoughts with us. They can talk about their feelings and their experiences. This is, these are the evaluation cards and how we use them in our school. The last part of the, of the presentation is that Istavrula will present the work of the volunteers in her school. Thank you. So, hi, I'm Stavrula. Uh, we are now in the last part of our seminar. I'm going to show you the volunteers' real action in my school. We have a, a solidarity family, first primary school for five months, September until, until December. <clears throat> so in the first week, we have a presentation to school personnel about the program so all the teachers know how it works. In the first meeting with the principal and the coordinator, we gave them the entry form so to be able to in, integrate it in the school activities. Uh, also, we're giving them the basic rules that Stella said before. They have to follow and uh, show having success in school environment. In the second week, all the volunteers introduction themselves uh, to all the students so everyone knows them in the schoolyard. They participate on in grade one for helping students, but also learning Greek, our language. Uh, help with setting up school, preparing bulletin boards and communication folder, or uh, everything uh, maybe uh, the colleagues needs for preparing uh, different activities. Uh, we have meetings every week with the principal and the coordinator, so preparing their program. Uh, in the first month after they work with the students, the volunteers answering the evaluation card in order to tell us their opinion, express their feeling, and making some changes or resolve problems they may be had or see in the activities of school. And now we are going to see activities assigned to the volunteers uh, in our school, creating floor uh, games in the schoolyard, activities for European language day in different classes, prefer the altered, uh, altered students. They creating uh, Christmas crafts during art lesson for a bazaar that we make in our school. They accompany students. This uh, happens before the coronavirus. <laughs> waters in water sports, in museums, or in theater that uh, students went. They painted uh, the French bench. The volunteering, uh, they are volunteering for the school environment to be get better. And the Christmas bazaar, different things. And in the last day that the program finished, students and teaching personnel thank them and wish them all the best. Um, maybe some students crying before they getting to know them and uh, didn't want to leave. 
and I hope the volunteers, uh, I am I'm sure that the volunteers uh, have a nice time in, uh, in our school and in uh, Cyprus generally. Yes. Thank you, Stavrula. So we have already finished. Yes. And uh, now we have a space for questions and comments if you have. So feel free to ask the teachers. I have a comment, actually. Yes. Uh, especially the last presentation, it reminded me of, of my time as um, a last DVS volunteer at the school, mm -hmm. at the special school in uh, Krakow, Poland. Yes. And uh, I almost cried, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Uh, I, I am so happy, I didn't know uh, we have this program here in Cyprus and uh, when I finish my degree and hopefully it's, uh, someday I'll be in schools too, I would love to have volunteers in my class. I think uh, they really help children with uh, like learning other about other cultures and the uh, presence of another person in the classroom. So thank you. You're yeah, welcome. I would like to ask something. Yes. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, what is the biggest period that uh, you you had the volunteers? Like, for example, was it for um, the whole nine months? Five months. Oh, it's, five. It's in the in the whole um, year, we have uh, two periods from September until uh, January and from February until June is to we have uh, four volunteers two and two it's only five months the program okay thank you Stella, do you want to uh, other anything uh, or do we have other uh, comments i have a question now yes <laughs> uh, how did how did the other um teachers like uh, reacted they were all pro this volunteering thing another presence in a classroom or there were some against that how did it uh, work uh, uh, in my school, if I can answer, uh, we are about 30 teachers. It's a big school. And uh, also, uh, it, it works at three, until 3 o'clock. And the teachers were, no, no one reacted. And they all wanted to have the volunteers in their classrooms. Okay. Uh, they are willing to help and be helped. And they love them. Every time they leave, uh, they they want all of them to give them a present and say goodbye to them. And we all love them, especially me. I'm the coordinator, so I feel like I their mother sometimes. <laughs> and so it's sometimes it's very hard to see them leave. Um, it's a special relation with the volunteers. Uh, Filion, in our school, uh, because it's the second year that we are in the program of the volunteer, in the first year, uh, the colleagues uh, make, uh, have a, some problem because they didn't know how it's going to be uh, to work this, this um, uh, in the volunteers in, in our school. What are they going to do? Uh, we have a lot of questions. And because we didn't know by sense of how it's going to work, Alexis helped us. So I, in the beginning, it was um, not uh, very welcome to the volunteers. But after that, they understand how it works. Uh, they are looking forward for them. 
because uh, they are very, they have they give um, too many help especially in the in the youngest uh, classes in the first class uh, that there is too many young children and the teacher is only one and uh, this year that the volunteers are from Greece from for us from us uh, from Cyprus uh, we have uh, too many help because they can help them in their lesson as well. But um, I think that uh, it's a very good program. Thank you both. You're welcome. So uh, Francesco, so move. Anastasia. No, no, no. It what? was something uh, ah. about the volunteer because you just mentioned you had uh, to some Greeks. Uh, this semester, I think it was with you. It was my friend Maria from Dreykala. It was with you indeed. Maria? No, you yeah. didn't have Maria. Have a... No, no, no. No, okay. okay. No, it wasn't Maria. We have Kiparisia a Greek, a Greek person. Not Maria. <laughs> uh, uh, Stella, Maria. actually, uh, the second name of Kiparisia is Maria. Yes, oh. Maria. Why you? Maybe Maria Kiparisia. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, we if you do programs together at the same time. About Kiparisia, is, uh, it was, she was in our school and we had a very nice time with her. Mm -hmm. School. You can ask her, okay? So yeah. say regards to her. She's in Cyprus, Kibarizia. Still, I thought she finished uh, last month. She finished, but she stayed in Cyprus and she don't work in Cyprus. Oh, <laughs> yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, she liked Cyprus very much. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So we are perfectly on time and we have other five minutes and I will use them if uh, it's possible for the evaluation of this, uh, this time, this uh, workshop. And oh, it's very simple. We are going to use again uh, the Mentimeter and you can find the link in the chat I already sent you. And is the third link. And basically, you will find a slide, only one, where there are many statements uh, related to the, the workshop. And you can disagree or agree uh, with a number from one up to five. So three person have already answered. Four. And so, yes, very quick. So thank you. I hope you enjoy and you have learned uh, something and we are finished. Thank you all, it was really nice. Thank you. Thank you, it was really nice to meet you and especially Sara and Francesco. Thank, Thank you, you for the help. Okay. Welcome, Stella. Okay, uh, goodbye for me. <laughs>